Assalamu alaikum. So here's the recipe video. I diced some onions and red peppers and also cut some in, in big chunks like this so I can grind them. I only grind them like not very smooth, just and then I went ahead to clean my chicken, wash clean them, make sure that if any extra um feathers there because there are some feathers in this skin that's like take some knife and like bring them out and then after washing them i transferred them into a pot to cook them only for about 10 15 minutes i didn't cook them truly so i added parsley garlic italiano and some salt just like a it's a teaspoon of salt added them in there that's my niece that is my niece so i added and let it cook like this i'm only cooking it for about 10 15 minutes because i'm going to transfer it into oven and that is where it will cook now this is just me like turning it simply it around so every side is kind of cooked It, it turned out very good by the way it turned out good but uh, yeah and you can you can use any spice that you want i usually sometimes add, it, add cumin and every other kind of spices but i didn't have cumin or other ones so yeah and then i added some of the onions and pe red peppers just the just a little bit i saved some left that i'm going to put in afterward so this is it after maybe like about 10 minutes you see that it's still not it so it's going inside the oven to finish all the cooking now I transferred my grind peppers it looks like it's smooth but it's actually not smooth it's very it's like granules and then added some three spoonful of tomato paste because I want it reddish, I want the red color. So yeah, and yeah, this is just me mixing it. I I added one more spoonful of tomato paste afterward. Now this time I added ginger, black pepper, and thyme. And there were two cubes of those large maggi inside this thing, but I only used one. So I don't know how. I only used one for my. And these are all the spices. I added some salt again, more salt this time into the paste. Now, yeah, here is the time that I added one more of the tomato paste because I want the color. If you want color, again, you can add more spices in one. Those are the spices that I have in the house. The only thing that is missing in this one compared to the last time was habanero peppers. I did not by hand banana peppers, but I did add some of the cayenne pepper because I know it can be sometimes spicy too. I added another of the diced um, peppers and onions just to give it flavor, releasing the flavor little by little. You get what I mean? Yeah, I added some. I still have some left that I'm going to put after when i add the chicken because i still want the crunchiness i added some i'm pretty sure it has vegetable oil because i found it in pot in a pot so i added some of the vegetable oil but again you can add anything that you like any kind of oil that you want any kind so i'm just letting it fry now the key to this is letting your paste fry letting it fry i know it looks burnt but it's not burnt it's still very good it's not burnt this is the kind of color that i was going for a bit reddish not just plain <laughs> you know what i mean you know if you get it you get it if you don't get it forget about it <laughs> anyway it seems frying now and i'm leave, i leave this for about 10 or 15 minutes so it's frying 
when it starts drying, you will see the oil start coming up, but the oil will settle on top. That's when you know it's dried. And, but I'm leaving it for about some minutes more so it's going to fry more and the oil can come up more. Now the chicken is all cooked now. I think it was in there for about 30 minutes ish, 30, 45, 30 to 40 minutes ish. And then here is our pepper. It's fried now. I could leave it more now to fry. But that's okay, it's fried as well, like this. Mm -hmm. And here is the chicken. Now, I the juices are under this. I dial down the heat and then I picked up my chicken. Oh, sorry, I've added the crunchy, the pepper, peppers, and onions and mix them together, mix them slowly. I think I left this for about maybe two to five minutes. It, so it does. I didn't want it to cook at all because that's if you cook it, it's going to turn soft and you won't have that crunchiness anymore. So I only left it for about two minutes ish, thirty minutes, and then I pick up this because again, you don't want watery soup. You want fried soup. So I picked the chicken and. Yeah, and then I picked out all these tomatoes and yeah, picked them out and then transferred them inside the pot. The tomato, the pepper, fine peppers. Yeah, the first chicken just fly right out. <laughs> so, yep. And then we have our chicken inside there. Now at this time, the chicken is cooked, the pepper is cooked. I didn't need to like add, it, like increase the heat. So it just ready to simmer in. So I left it in like very low heat. So it simmers for about five, 10 minutes actually, for about 10 minutes. And then, yeah. And it tasted really nice, tasted really, really good. I think it took me about an hour and a half to make this, the whole process. And it was doing an iftar, and I haven't had my iftar, so I was really hungry at this time. I actually just didn't eat iftar just so I can have my um, rice with the chicken and the pepper. And again, I learned this kind of making fried pepper for rice for my sister because she likes frying pepper for her um, for her rice and it, was, it tasted really good but my sister she felt that she had the nerve to add it, to add more salt because she felt like it, it needs more salt so she added more salt but it was good it was excellent do time let me know if you try it I mean Mine was good. I know my sister added more salt, but honestly, it tasted really good. I don't know what's wrong with it. So let me know if you tried it, and thank you for asking. I really enjoyed making it for you.